this video is uh, part of a series of videos about uh, introduction to lab view in these videos we'll learn how to use lab view in the first videos up to around video 9 we learn the basics of uh, programming in lab view for example how to use a while loop or for loop in lab view how we can use formula node how you can use the numerical functions how we can use comparisons uh, and so on after these videos uh, we solve some examples these examples are related to paper uh, pulp and paper industry um, and uh, one other thing I highly recommend that before watching this video uh, uh, the reader of the uh, text uh, that uh, is provided beside these videos or the viewer of these videos should watch the introduction to lab view video from the national Inter uh, instruments website I try to put uh, 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 actually the link uh, somehow in this uh, video but I'm not sure how can I do it anyway we are going to start this video first we open up lab uh, lab view then I start on uh, by the way I have to say that this uh, the, the, the example here we are going to solve together is very simple example if you are already familiar with lab view uh, there is no need to watch this video uh, just in this video we use just a controller and indicator and we connect these two if this is the first time you use lab view it could be a good example to get familiar with uh, with this software okay you already open up the lab view I click on blank VI two pages appears you see here I press control T so I can both block diagram and front panel parallel to each other um, I also need my tool palette I bring it from here tools palette oh it, it was already there anyway uh, it's set on automatic because this light is on uh, but I prefer to work it uh, in manual mode so I turn it off I insert uh, First of all, I need a controller in this example. Oh, before starting, maybe I should uh, show you the, uh, how this example should look like at the end. Uh, this example should be like this. At the end, we need a we need something to uh, we need something like this. We need to have uh, okay. Uh, uh, this is example. You can read it. Of course, I made it a little more complicated on the example, but the purpose is to have just a controller, a controller, and a tank. And when we change the values of uh, inside this uh, control, I want to uh, we want to see the same value as a level of a tank uh, as the, the level of the tank in the tank like this we put five here and we want to see here five meters of water okay we go back to our program first I need a controller I can insert the controller from here or I can insert my control from anywhere from uh, one of these categories modern silver system whatever you want but I prefer to uh, insert my control straightforward from here numeric controls okay I place it here and I change the name to controller I right click I go to numeric indicators and I place a tank here I want to resize it if I press control and then resize my tank uh, uh, 
uh, the sizing will be centralized. You see, I press control, and you see uh, the center uh, uh, doesn't change. But if I uh, release the control uh, and uh, just resize it, you see it will be different. You should try it. What happens? I again press the control. You see the center. Um, remains the same and the size changes okay now I have my tank you can change the caption here you can change the level let's say we put here 50 okay after I'm done with this side of my program the front panel I go to the right hand side and wire the controller I take the wiring spool and wire the controller to my tank then I clean up my diagram and I will have something like this now I I can run it uh, with this uh, if I press this the program is run uh, actually uh, runs just once and for a moment I can I don't have time to change anything in fact therefore it is better to run it continuously so I can change the level of tank I can either change it with these uh, bottom sears or I can insert a number okay I stop it Instead of running continuously, I can do one. Uh, uh, I can do uh, uh, one other things. Other thing, I can I can insert a while loop from a structures. From uh, again, so you can see, it, you can follow me. I can from the programming the structures and while loop. I insert while loop. Then I can create a, a control. Then I have a stop button. Okay. Now if I press run con run just once, in fact the program runs until I uh, until I push stop. We will learn about the this loop so-called Y loop in the next videos just be aware of that we come to that uh, later thanks for watching that was uh, the first video